the earliest known humans of the Second Age were tribesmen. And though the first humans to re-inhabit the healing continent of Lazarus were protected and nourished by the non-humans who secretly factored into their return, they were curious to see what manner of civilizations they would create when left to develop on their own. Those civilizations took the form of tribal territories, and it would be warriors fueled by variations of pure rage, barbarians, who would protect and provide for these territories. The first of these rage path variations manifested in the earliest days of the tribes, and no evidence exists thus far on who it was that cultivated this exercise of raw, unrestrained violence. It could be that so many had developed such a rudimentary road to destruction on their own that to narrow it down to a single progenitor would be next to impossible at best. This path had its genesis with the tribe of the Pale Talon, wherein its human chieftain had a chance encounter with Elidia, the powerful and ever mysterious High Elf, who was the first Eresian Druid. Within a day, the concept of spirit animals consumed the chieftain's thinking to the point where the Pale Talon regarded beasts with a higher degree of respect and reverence than humans. In its uniqueness, the path itself was named for Torm, the chieftain of the tribe of the Pale Talon. The nomadic nature of the Proudfeet tribe holds to respect and reverence for their ancestors no matter where they go. Since the days of its founding chieftain, Zarel Stone, Proudfeet tribesmen are encouraged to never forget their lineages. And those who hold to this belief discipline themselves to draw strength from their ancestors. The path, however, is not restricted to those of the Proudfeets and is fairly widespread among the barbarians of Lazarus. otherwise known as the Path of Vikras, who was a single tribesman consumed with a burning desire to brave the elements to reach a northern land. His father had taught him that in order to survive hostile elements, you need to become it. Vikras, a Froslevik tribesman, took this to heart, inadvertently getting the attention of Tempest the red essence goddess of storms and thunder, who had marked him with a sigil that effectively empowered him to ultimately reach his goal. In the wake of this accomplishment, other tribesmen began calling him the Storm Herald, and although no others were anointed with the divine mark he had been given, those who have followed the path in his wake have been no less capable of awakening their inner rage in his name.